this one. Andrew Berry told uh, Zach Jackson of The Athletic, and, and you tweeted this out. Don't necessarily believe that wide receiver is the Browns' number one priority this offseason. I would not say that. I mean, we're still in the assessment mode. We feel pretty good about our group of pass catchers. Um, Shot, yeah. I hope that's kind of uh, <laughs> posturing so that the uh, free agents can't can't come in and say we want forty million a year. I I, I you need some you need some pass catchers, you need some playmakers to, to help Deshaun Watson a little bit. Yeah, I, I listen, you know, people got on me on Twitter. Come on, G Bush, you know this is the this is a silly season. I said, Well, we got something to talk about. We gotta talk with, we do this for a living. We gotta when that quote comes out, listen. The only thing that scares me a little bit is I heard him say the same thing about defensive tackles a couple years ago, and uh, he was not bluffing because we had defensive tackles, and they were some of the worst defensive tackles that we've had, and they didn't put a priority on it. What happened? Joe Woods gets fired. You were probably one of the worst teams defensively at stopping the run. You couldn't get pressure. And then the next year, he woke up and was like, you know what? Uh, that whole D-tackles thing, I think we need to go get him. What did they do? They go out and say, listen, let me get Tomlinson on a free agent deal. We get Hurst on Bring him in for a one-year deal. Shelby Harris. They pretty much stockpiled the defensive line. They went and got Ogbo. They went and got Zadarius Smith. And basically, the Browns became one of the better defenses, if not one of the top three defenses in the league. We've been talking about this receiver thing for weeks and months now. It just seems like we, ever since Odell and uh, Jarvis left, we've been we've been dealing with this. We feel good about our. Actually, uh, Andrew, it doesn't really matter what you think. It's about the results. Uh, the Browns have not done a good job in, in allocating picks to receivers, and when they have, they have swung and missed. I don't know what they saw. I know Schwartz was a, was a burner, but his hands was an F minus. Uh, they went out and got Elijah Moore. They promised us a new package and what he was going to do. Did not see any of that. You go out to get David Bell. We were confused. He's smallish. He's not really a, a, a crisp route runner. He's not a deep threat. He has decent hands, but I don't I don't see anything that he's exceptional at. Cedric Tillman, like him, has a big body, but sometimes – at the end of the season, Joe Flacco was he was yelling at him, you're running the wrong routes, and you're not going up and, and going up and trying to get contested footballs. That's what your forte is supposed to be. So right now, the only thing you got is an aging Amari Cooper who, by the way, can still play and a David Njoku. You need to go out and get me something in free agent. I don't care what it is. Is it Hollywood Brown? If you got to find a way to get Mike Evans, I think he'll get franchised. If it's T, hey, Sean Watson talk about T. Higgins. I think he'll get franchised too. But the Pittman, Michael Pittman Jr., uh, Marquise Brown, those are two guys that you could think of. A, a uh, Calvin Ridley, something, and you still might need to get another receiver in the draft because if you want Deshaun Watson to throw the ball seventy percent of the time. Give him some weapons so he can compete with Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, who will be back next year. Don't get it twisted. And the the Michael Jordan of football, Patrick Mahomes, who he, he just continues to just destroy people. Yeah, you, you need a number two because you'd feel a lot better about Elijah Moore if he was three, David Bell, Cedric Tillman if they were fours or fives. Then, then uh, okay. But but okay. Everybody, everybody then Amari Cooper is slotted up you know, a, a spot higher than you really feel comfortable having him. I, at least that's the way I feel. <laughs> I would feel good if Elijah Moore was a number four. At four, I'm not counting on him that much. I'm saying, hey, but whatever he get, it's a, it's an added bonus, right? You know, so it's like getting dessert after a meal when you didn't expect it. You're like, oh, she's like, honey, you know what I did? I got some ice cream. You're like, what? <laughs> what? You got ice cream? This is a great day. I didn't expect to get no ice cream after dinner. That's what Elijah Moore is if you get a couple more receivers. 